so here we have the integral of sine 2x cosine 4x. Um, and I notice that you mentioned you're getting different answers on every website. Uh, there are quite a few ways to do this one. The way I'm going to do it is to first change cosine into a different expression so that they have the same angle. But there's a lot of different ways you can start. Um, so first off, what I'm going to like I said, cosine 4x using the double angle formula should be equal to any one of these three things, except instead of the two theta, you have a 4x. So as long as these angles are half of these angles, then it should work. So we are going to end up saying that cosine 4x is equal to, and I'm going to use this one, which I'll explain in a second. 2 cosine squared 2x minus 1. So I'm going to make that substitution into here. Um, and what I'll find is that I now have trig functions using the same angle, which is 2x. So as long as they have the same expression, you can use different kinds of things like use substitution or direct integration or different things to help yourself out. So what I'm going to do next is say that u is equal to cosine 2x. Now the reason I do this is because if I choose u to be cosine 2x, I can turn this into 2u squared minus 1. And I know I'm going to be able to cancel the sine because I know the derivative of cosine is sine. That's why I chose to use this cosine squared function because it was going to allow me to use a u substitution to get to my answer. If I had done the sine version, I would have had a sine 2x and a sine cubed 2x after distribution. And that gets messier than it needs to be. So that's why I avoided doing that. If you take the derivative, derivative of cosine is negative sine. And you'll, of course, multiply by 2 because of chain rule. So the derivative of 2x is 2. And what that allows me to do is I can say that this is now 2u squared minus 1. And du, oh, there's a dx here. dx is equal to 1 over negative 2 sine 2x du. So all I did was divide this over here, and now I get an expression for dx, which I'm going to insert here, but this sine 2x is going to cancel that, that sine 2x. So what I end up getting is a du, copy the sine 2x just for the moment, and then you have negative 2 sine 2x. Cancel this, cancel that, and then you have a negative one half brought out front. Du. So I cancel the sine two x's. This negative two, because it's in the denominator, can be brought out as the negative one half, like I show here. And then you have the two u squared minus one. Um, the antiderivative to u squared minus 1 is relatively easy to do. It's just power rule. Um, so your answer will be negative 1 half times what you get as an integrated result of this. Okay. So I'll just jump through with the u's. That would be 2 thirds u cubed minus u. And you would have a plus c at the end. What you do then is you just say, oh, well, u is this, you back substitute, and you have your answer. Now, this might look slightly different than other versions. You could distribute the negative 1 half, in which case these fractions would change. Um, I believe it'd be a negative 1 third u cubed plus 1 half u. Um, with the cosine 2x, you can rewrite cosine 2x different ways in terms of different trig functions. So there is a chance that the different answers you're seeing on different websites is a result of the trig functions being rewritten different ways. This is one particular answer that will work um, once again and once you substitute the u in. Uh, but there are numerous answers that are technically correct and are all equivalent. Uh, so commit to one particular method. I think this one's probably the quickest, but um, feel free to try anything that you think works. Hope that helped.